Mtalone Swan Song was well received in his hometown. He turned professional in 2000 and never looked back. The month of October 2022 marks a new start for him as he hangs his gloves. Knowing that I won't be competing inside a ring again, I don't even know how I feel about that. I'm so overwhelmed with emotions seeing the support from everyone who has been behind me all these years. I'm grateful for all I have achieved in my 22-year career. I've been through it all, but I endured and it means a lot to me. Ntalane held the IPF flyweight title twice between 2009 and 2013 and again between 2018 and April 2021. In 2014, he won the IPO flyweight world championship. He appreciates the efforts of Mvelo promotions for staging his last dance. What did this mean to you? I'm so grateful for the support. This is my last fight. My sister, Nom Veloshezi, did the most with the planning and staging this event. I will forever be grateful. Once a champ, always a champ. Once a champ, always a champ. Thanks for believing in me and respecting us. I'm honored. His trainer is singing his praises. We have a tendency of only respecting our athletes once they're no longer with us. And I think we need to appreciate and respect them. Ruti is not just a South African great, but an African great. And undoubtedly, Africa's greatest flyweight in boxing history. So not only is he a credit for South African boxing, but world and African boxing as a whole. And the Boxing SA has made a commitment. There's still a role that he has to play, and as from now, he will work with us. We want to see the young and upcoming boxers following in your footsteps. And that's where we come in, as from today. Salane now aims to unearth new talent from rural areas starting in his village in the Mbenle local municipality. Mdutuzin Lovu for SAPC News.